Hey, this is Khadar and today we are going to make a transformerless power supply for LEDs. Long back, when I wanted to make a 220 volts LED bulb, I had to purchase a transformer every single time and it would cost me around 150-200 rupees for each transformer and just for running a single LED which cost about 6 rupees. So I started searching on internet for an alternative and then I found this transformerless power supplies and after, after few experimentation. Uh, I uh, managed to design a good transformer as power supply cell. So today we are going to see how we can make it. So the heart of the circuit is a series transformer. You can consider this transformer about 0.22 microfarad. But not just the capacitance, voltage also should be taken into note. The, rating, the voltage rating of this capacitor should be around 400 volts. And a one mega ohm resistance is connected across the capacitor so that when the circuit is switched off the charge which is left on the capacitance is discharged across this 1 mega ohm resistance. So the AC supply is given here and, and the current passes through this capacitor to a bridge rectifier. Here the positive and negative terminals are connected to a capacitor. The capacitance of this capacitor is less, say about 10 microfarad for about 16 volts to 1 microfarad to 16 volts. And across this capacitor, an LED is connected. This is a 1 watt LED. You can also connect a 1 tenth watt LED. But in this case, the whole of the current passes through the capacitor to the LED into the neutral phase. And in this case, there is a chance of LED burning. So to limit the current, we connect a resistance in the series. The resistance is about 680 ohms. This resistance can also be connected in series with the positive terminal here. So let's make the circuit and check if it works. So first we'll connect a capacitor. As you can see, this is a 2 to 4. It means 0.22 microfarad, heated at 400 volts. And one mega ohm resistance is connected across this capacitor. For one end, we are giving AC supply, and to the other end, we connect the bridge rectifier. So after connecting the bridge rectifier, we connect the positive terminal of the bridge rectifier to a resistance, say a 680 ohm resistance. And from the other end of the resistor, we connect the positive terminal of the LED. Across the LED, we connect a capacitor. It is a 1 microfarad capacitor. From the negative terminal of the LED, we connect to the negative terminal of the bridge rectifier. Now, we will we'll connect the AC supply plug. This is the AC supply plug. And one terminal we connect to the one end of the bridge rectifier. And the other terminal is connected to the other end of the capacitor. So the circuit is complete. Now we will test it. Now we will connect the plug and see if the circuit works. And you can see that the LED is glowing. So that is how we can make our own transformerless LED driver circuit. But before completing this video, uh, I would like to tell you a few precautionary measures. So after making this circuit, we have to run the LED for about 5 to 10 minutes and we have to check if the resistor is getting heated up. So if the resistor is getting heated up, that means either the load is too much or the resistor value is too less. So after that, you, what you can do is you can replace the resistor with a higher resistance or you can even increase the power of the resistance. I used a half watt resistor, you can use a 1 watt or even a 2 watt resistor depending on the load. 
and if the circuit doesn't work after connection please remove the AC supply and then do any corrections in the circuit because it's not an isolated circuit and you may get a very bad shock if you try to touch any part of it even the LED dome so please be careful in making this circuit and tell me about your experiences thank you if you like my video please subscribe